What up, YouTube? Danny in Saigon. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, my name is Danny. I'm an American expat and living in Vietnam. Big city in South Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City. Formerly known as Saigon. I'm on my way back to my hotel room where I'm uh, I'm gonna stop and grab some lunch. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have today. Maybe KFC, like I have most days. Or I might buy some street food today if I see something along the way. Pretty hungry. Big Belly's about to eat my little belly. I'm gonna put something in it pretty soon. Let's see what's going on here between these two trucks. got one hand going on as I'm making this video. This guy's gonna... Well, maybe he's gonna turn left. They do that. They turn left from your right. Or anything. It just says, kind of chaotic here. A lot of stuff going on. People going in all directions. Coming from every angle. And, uh, to... It's not that difficult. You can you can get the hang of it, probably. If uh, as long as you, you know have if you have reflexes and stuff. If you're a really uh, slow person, then probably not. I recommend you might take the bus or take a motorbike taxi or something. They have motorbike taxis everywhere here. It is kind of hard on your back. I mean, um, your results may vary, but for me, I don't like to ride on the back of a motorbike. I definitely. Uh, I'm in pretty good shape, really, for my age. Something about riding the back, uh, it's kind of a pleasant. Plus, I can tell you this, a lot of the motorbike taxis, uh, some of them drive crazy. Some of them drive way too fast. When I was down in the province, I was taking motorbike taxis from town to town. That was, uh, that got scary. I got to where I didn't want to do that. It's a nice day so far, but it'll probably rain. It's the rainy season, and it's been raining a lot the last, <coughs> last couple weeks. The car beeping at me. He wants me to move over. They're pretty patient here, usually. This is a nice coffee shop here. I stopped here a few times. They have a lot of coffee shops here in Vietnam, and I love it. I love my coffee. Yeah, did you see all that dirt on the road? You gotta watch out for that, because that stuff will spill you. There's tons of stuff on the road that will uh, make you wipe out if you hit it. I saw an, an orange helmet up here on my left a little uh, last night. I went to District 1 late last night. There was a helmet in the road. That'll ruin your day. Yeah, I love it. I love living here. I will have to go back to the USA eventually. Unfortunately, I, uh, I got some family obligations. And uh, I miss my kids pretty bad. I do want to bring my son here. He's 16 and uh, I have plans of bringing my son here when he's about 20. See that ice? That's how they do it here in Southeast Asia. It doesn't ever snow here. It never gets cold enough to make ice. See all this dirt here? The mud and stuff that they drop. If it gets wet and rainy, man, you will wipe out on this stuff. Wiping out is a big deal if you're taking a motorbike go around everywhere. I don't want to do it no more. I did break my arm last year and it sucked. I had surgery. I'm good to go now. but. A motorbike is the easy way to get around in this city. If you take a car, it's going to take time. And uh, of course, if you get a car, you probably have to have a license and insurance and all that. I'm kind of floating around without it right now. Been here for two years, and I've been able to uh, I've been able to get along without a license or insurance and all that. Cheap motorbike. They give you a blue card, what they call a blue card when you buy the motorbike. Uh, I don't know what it means. It's just a certificate of ownership of something, but 
God only knows if it's authentic or it's been fake or whatever. Uh, I just have a cheap motorbike. That way, if the cops take it, I can just get another one. I've had this sucker. Uh, I dropped it four times, and it's uh, it looks like it. It's pretty rough. I got a black tape to get that. I, I'm thinking the police don't want it, probably. No one's going to steal it, probably. But if you have a nice newer motorbike, they might. Uh, you may get a motorcycle here. There are a lot of motorcycles. You don't see too many Harleys, but you do see a lot of Hondas and Suzukis and Yamahas. And uh, they have motor motorcycles here, but... The motorbike is the easiest way to get around, of course. The motorcycle will be uh, will be a bitch to park. Because you got to park uh, on the sidewalks here a lot of times. and You leave your bike for someone else to park, and if you have a motorcycle, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be questionable whether you can even park there or not. Maybe you don't want to. Not only that, it's a poor place to drive fast. They have highways here, and uh, I got a buddy up in Hue. He does he does drive fast. It's crazy though. It's crazy to drive fast here for any reason because there's too much stuff in the road, too many potholes, too much debris, and you never know. What, I mean, down in the provinces one time, I saw a motorbike sitting in the intersection. Somebody just climbed off of the motorbike and, and walked away. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know what was happening there, but. See, I often avoid this little highway here. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of plugged up sometimes. My hotel's up here, KFC's up here on, on my left. Staying at a, a nicer hotel. Uh, I like the hotel I'm at. Kind of expensive, really, but but not really. Not by not by Western standards. It's 15 bucks a night. You can find it cheaper, but my room for 15 a night, man, I get it's it's very clean. Has really hot water, super hot water. Has TV if you like that. I don't watch it, but. Um, got a comfortable bed it's got you know electronic locks the Wi-Fi they got working finally and uh, I can I can take a cheaper room upstairs today I think for uh, 300,000 a night which is about, about $12 that's not bad it's not bad at all it's a uh, it's comfortable in a hotel. I had a room across town, but I don't want to drive across town no more. And my girlfriend and I broke up. Can't really live together all the time. She's a funny little thing. Yeah, you know. It is what it is. Here's the brewery right here, right? They're making Heineken and Tiger Beer and all that stuff. And I make a left. Heine. I like Heine. I'm gonna make a left right here. Right here. Yeah, that's how it's done here. That seemed a little crazy, I know. And it is. It is a little crazy to drive here. But somehow you get used to it. Yeah. Life insurance is probably a good idea. You're gonna drive here. Well, you can get your body home. Your family can get your body home without too much expense, maybe. Need be. Statistically, you know, I've looked it up before I came to Asia, and uh, it's, a, it's a dangerous place to drive. And uh, foreigners get killed here on the roads uh, all the time. Actually, the locals get killed on the roads here all the time, too, so. And here's another little thing to watch out for. When you're walking underneath this, be careful. Because they got a lot of construction going on in uh, Vietnam and Cambodia, and I'm sure Thailand too. I haven't been to Thailand yet, even though I've been to Asia in two years. I, I haven't been to Thailand. I eventually will. I have a lot of friends there I met online. And see, they got restaurant manufacturing. Looks like they're well, they got printing stuff right there. Everything's side by side here, so they don't like they don't zone. 
we just find everything kind of crammed together. Or maybe they do so, and I, I don't know. But here's my hotel, right? The Tan Han Hotel. It's pretty nice. It's back here on this quiet road. Hello. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> They're so nice. This is a nice little quiet street. Not much going on here. Take the back way to KFC. That highway over there is pretty treacherous. And that big highway that I go under, oh man, that's a mess. That bridge that you, you see me go under uh, back there, it's a big ass high. There's a mirror on the ground. That's probably not good. Uh, and it's dirty. It's it's real dirty. It's uh, when you're driving, you can barely see. It's almost like being on a dirt road. Trucks and buses, and they're all moving really fast. And it's real dangerous and dirty. It's, I don't like going on that highway at all. Yeah, Vietnam's very nice, though. It's very nice and very peaceful. See the trees. They do have some trees that change to, the color, the leaves change to color in fall. See some of the leaves on the ground? Not not many. Most of them just stay green. But back home in Indiana, uh, all the leaves will be falling. A lot of people like this time of year. I've been home in a couple years, and... Uh, Miss my home a little bit. Miss my kids. It really makes me sad. I want to see my kids real bad. I don't have a lot of money to travel around. Uh, I'm paying support. It's a long story. I'm paying debts. I really want to fly home and see my kids. And uh, someday I want to bring my boy here. They got Halloween masks. I wish I could find uh, some rubber masks here. My students would love that. I saw one teacher one time at Bowie Van. He, he brought the masks with him from somewhere. He had five or ten rubber masks that he used with his students. And I'm sure he probably entertained them with that. My kids are sweet little kids. I gotta put stuff on my head. And uh, I like to stack stuff on my head. That entertains them a little bit. They're very little kids. I got a big head. You can stack a lot of stuff up there. It's good for a laugh. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching my video. And uh, you can like and subscribe. Iris Preschool. A lot of schools here. A lot of schools. A lot of kids. A lot of families. A lot of buses. Yeah, beep beep. So anyways, thanks for watching my video and uh, have a nice day.